welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very first Halloween tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to do fun and pretty witch makeup. So when I think of witches, I immediately think of the iconic witches such as Bewitched and Sarah Jessica Parker from Hocus Pocus and Sabrina the Teenage Witch and I think of all of those fun movie and TV show witches and on top of that I think of purple. Lots of purple and smokiness and blacks and grays. So I'm going to create a really fun makeup look for you today using all of that inspiration. This video is a collaboration with Roxy from the Classy It Girl. So I will be showing you the makeup and she will be showing you the outfit. So make sure you check out her channel to see the witch outfit using a little black dress. I will link it down below so that you can check it out. And let's get started. So to start off my makeup look, I'm going to prime my eyes and my face. And for face makeup, I'm really looking at Sarah Jessica Parker's witch character from Hocus Pocus for my inspiration. Her skin is so flawless and so pretty and kind of like pale on the pale side. Luckily, I have the paleness down. Um, so to get that flawless texture, first I'm going to prime my skin with the Benefit Professional Primer. This is really going to fill in any of those pores or like fine lines and crevices that my skin may have to make it look super, super smooth. While I'm priming my face, I also like to prime my eyes. It just works better that way. So I'm going to apply the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base to my eyelids. This is going to help make my eyeshadow not crease. After I have my face and eyes primed, I'm going to move on to foundation. So to get that super flawless, like photo finished look, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation in the color Rose Ivory. This is a tiny bit too light for me, but that's perfect for witch makeup. So to apply that, I will be using a damp beauty blender, and I'm just gonna dot that all over my face, smooth it in through my hairline, down my neck, and down to my decollete. After my foundation has been applied, I'm going to move on to concealer. So for concealer, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Concealer in the color Light Neutral and the color Fair Neutral. I like to mix these together to get my perfect concealer shade. So I'm gonna put that under my eyes, around the corners of my nose, and on any kind of spots that happen to show through the concealer. After it's applied, I blend it in with a damp beauty blender. Now to set all of this face makeup, I will be using two different powders. So the first one is to set my under eye concealer. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is a finely milled, transparent, translucent powder. I like to put this, it just sets my concealer, makes sure it doesn't crease, and makes it really, really bright. To set my face makeup, I will be using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Medium Plus. Now this does have a bunch of color to it, but I want my face to be flawless and really, really just, you know, perfect looking. So this is that extra layer of coverage, an extra layer of just finish to make my skin look super, super flawless. I will be applying that with the Sephora Pro Airbrush All Over Face Powder Number 61 Brush. Now after face, I will be moving on to brows. And every single witch picture I've looked at, their brows are on the darker side. They don't really match their hair color. They're usually black or pretty dark brown. And they have a bit of an arch to them, an exaggerated arch to them. So I'm going to go in with a darker eyebrow pencil than I usually would. This is the Dior Show brow styler in the color universal brown if i use a heavy hand then this comes off really really dark so i'm going to use that today outline my brows and really really fill them in and make them really dark on top of that on top of that i am going to exaggerate my arch just a little bit more than i typically would just to get that really good witch appearance Next, we are moving on to the most fun part of this tutorial, eyes and eyeshadow. So this look is really all about the eyes and all about the 
bright, vibrant pops of color I'll be using in my eyes. So for this look, I will be using two different eyeshadow palettes. The first one is the Urban Decay Electric Palette, and specifically the color Urban, which is the bottom middle color, a bright, vibrant, bluish purple. It is so pretty and so bright and so pow in your face. And then for contrast and some color, um, some darker neutral colors, I will be using the Morphe, I think this is the N35, W35, I'll link it down below for you guys. But I will be using a dark matte black color and a charcoal sparkly black color. So because that purple is so bright and so vibrant, I really want it to pop. I will be priming my eyes first with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk. This is pretty much just a white based eyeshadow, creamy eyeshadow pencil. After that, I'll be going in with a flat shader brush from Sigma. This is their E55 brush and going straight to that color Urban in the electric palette. Now the key to this, we will be going back to this palette over and over and over again, but the key at first is to really make sure you pat that on your eyelid just up to the crease, not past the crease. You don't want to look, look like you have a black eye, just right up to that crease and really pat the color in all over from inner corner to outer corner. Next, you're gonna go into that charcoal black sparkly color with a tiny blending brush. I'm using the Morphe M433 brush. So I'm just gonna dip that in that color and apply this to the immediate crease of my eye and really, really pack it in there really deeply to make your crease stand out. Now I know, it kind of looks like a scary hot mess, but that's okay because we're going to blend. That is a trick. As Jacqueline Hill would say, blend until your fingers bleed. Don't do that. But you will have to go in with a clean, fluffy blending brush. I'm using the E40 by Sigma to really blend that color. Blend it in with a purple. Blend it into the crease of your eye. That way it doesn't look like a scary hot mess. Just blend, 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 and blend some more. Once your charcoal black is all blended out, and trust me, it will take a while, so just be patient with it, but once it's all blended out, you will wanna go in with a darker black color. In fact, I like to start out with a black eyeliner. So I'm going to be using the YSL Waterproof Eyeliner in the color black, and I'm going to outline that outer corner V of both of my eyes, and that's going to provide a really nice, creamy, dark black base for my black shadow. So I'm going to apply that first, and then I'm going to go in with a really, really dense, thick pencil brush. The one I'm using here is the Urban Decay 24-7 Blending Brush and blend that out as much as I can before the eyeliner dries to really provide a deep, dark black outer V. After you've got the eyeliner all blended out to your outer V, you're going to go into your dark black matte shadow and put that on top and drag it into the crease of your eye to really, really define the outer part of your eye and the crease of your eye. So this is another thing that's going to get a little tricky. You have to be patient because you have to blend, blend, blend. So I find it easiest to use a brush that's kind of in between a blending brush and in between the pencil brush that I just used. So I'm going to go back to the Morphe M433 brush. I'm not gonna wash it off or anything like that but I'm going to use that to apply my black shadow and just pat it on top blend it out to the outer part of my eye and into the crease of my eye now you're gonna go back to your Urban Decay Electric Palette, back to the color Urban, and you're going to just reapply some of that Urban color on top of what you already have. This is just to help make it really bright and really vibrant. Sometimes when you do all that blending, it kinda, you know, makes the vibrancy go away. So go ahead and just put a little bit more on top of it. And then after you do that, you're going to apply your lower lash color. So that same color, that same color Urban, you're going to go in with a really tiny, thin, precise pencil brush. I'm using the MAC 219 brush, and you're going to apply that from the inner corner of your eye to the outer corner of your eye, and make the line pretty thick. You want this to be very, very noticeable, very thick, very vibrant. Last step for shadow is to go back in with that charcoal black color and back in with your kind of thicker, more dense pencil brush and apply some of that to your lower lash line, just about to the middle of your eye. Now let's move on to liner 
and lashes for this look. So for liner, I'm just gonna go in with that same YSL pencil liner and line my lower waterline and my upper lash line and then go in with a Sephora Pro smudge brush and smudge it all out so it's nice and smudgy and smoky and just like dramatic. Now before we move on to lashes, we're going to go ahead and draw our spiderweb design on our eyes. So this is a little tricky. You might want to test it out on your hand a couple times or like pre-makeup a few times just to make sure you get it down because you don't want to mess up all of your eye makeup if you end up having to wipe it off. So to start out, you will be needing a black liquid liner. I'm going to use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper. It's black. And you're going to start at the outer part of your eye where you would draw in a cat eye. And you're going to do three long lines, almost like long lashes. So you're going to start at the outer corner of your eye, almost up to your eyebrow, back to your hairline. Another one a little bit farther down. And then another one a little bit farther down. Then you're going to connect each line with a little kind of droopy or half circle with each one. So that's how spider webs look. If you look it up online, you can see a really good picture of it. But basically little tiny half circle or banana shaped lines to connect each of your longer one third lines. After you do that, pick an eye, probably not both of them, one or the other, and that's where you'll draw your spider. So for this, I just drew one short little line down to connect the spider. I used my pencil liner to draw a large dot and then a smaller dot for the body and the head. And then I went back in with my liquid liner and drew eight little lines for the legs. Now moving on to lashes. So since we're going to be using false lashes today, I'm just going to apply one coat of mascara on my normal lashes to make sure that they're black. I have really, really light lashes, so I need to make sure that they are black and they don't like interfere or look weird with the false lashes. After that, I will be applying these false lashes by the brand Ardell. These are their enchanting lashes. I don't know if they sell these separately. I got them in a Disney princess kit, but they are false lashes that are pretty long and pretty exaggerated with little silver sparkles on them. While the glue from your lashes is drying, you can definitely move on to face. So with witches, I noticed they have very defined cheekbones and very contoured faces. Specifically, I'm thinking of like Maleficent. So for that, I'm going to use the NARS Eda brush. This is the teeniest, tiniest, like thinnest contour brush that I own. So with this, I'm going to go into the Kat Von D contour palette and the darkest shade. I've never used this to contour my face before because it's much too dark, but it's perfect for this look. So I'm going to go in and start at the tip of my ear and go about halfway down my face to at the angle of the corner of my mouth and just really, really chisel out my cheekbones. After that, I'm going to go in with bronzer and bronze up the rest of my face. So I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs The Bronze Brush and my typical everyday Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I don't want to be too bronze because witches are kind of on the paler side, but I do also want to look put together and very pretty. So I'm just going to go in and bronze up my cheekbones, my hairline, and down to my neck. Now moving on to highlight. So to highlight my under eyes and to kind of contrast the contour, I guess it's called baking. I don't know, I could be wrong. But I'm gonna go in and use the yellowish color of the Kat Von D palette. And to apply that, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light brush, the more dome-shaped side. Last up for cheeks is blush. So for this, I'm going to use a magenta kind of berry colored blush to kind of match my eyes. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Love Flush blush in the color Your Love is King. Go in with a light hand on this because it is very, very pigmented. So I will be applying that with my Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. 
Okay, so I lied, that's not the last part of your cheeks. Next, you wanna go in with a shimmery highlight if you really wanna make those cheekbones pop. For that, I'm going to use the Becca highlighter in the color Moonstone, and I'm also going to apply that with the Sigma F40 contour brush, but just another one, you know, so it doesn't have blush all over it. Now we're gonna move on to lips. So most witch makeup has really, really dark, vampy lips. So today I'm going to go in with a combination of things. So first I'm going to line my lips with the NARS Velvet Lip Liner in the color Belmar. This is a dark, deep, like plum color. After the lip liner, I'm going to go in with Max Rebel. This is a deep, dark purple color. It's not quite as dark as I would like though. So after I apply a couple of coats of the lipstick, I am going to go in with a dark black matte color, the same one that I used on my eyes, and lightly dab that on top of the lipstick and blend it in to really make it almost like a black purple. All right, you are finally done with your makeup. So to top all of this off, you can put a hat on, you can put accessories on, all that fun stuff to make you look very witch-like. Make sure you hop on over to Roxy's channel to see how you can costume this, so how you can use a little black dress to make a witch costume. And that is all for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.